It is Bud Suds and Duds time. Rob, it's November. We've got a cornucopia of things to try. Yes. Uh, no no definite suds this time. Nope, not this time. Um, but we do have a little selection of something for... Each of us brought a, a snack, basically. That's right. Yeah, pretty much. Um, would you like to go first? Let me go first? Sure. So, all right. I went grocery shopping yesterday, and I'm walking around, and I saw this cool looking bag and i said what are those i said oh they're pretzels is it just the cool looking bag or are they different in some way so this is stellar pretzel braids and it is they're vegan apparently uh made with love it says right here on there just uh vegan butter braid pretzel with maui onion style seasoning and monk fruit Okay. I said I've never had any of these things with pretzels. So okay, so monk fruit is a sweetener. Oh, is that what it is? I didn't know yeah, what monk fruit was. I believe monk fruit they use is a sweetener. Um, the Maui stuff, if it tastes like something that I'm thinking of, it's probably good. Okay, it definitely. I'm definitely smelling the onion. I actually think that tastes pretty good. Give it a try. It's not, uh, there's not a whole lot of salt to it. It's not that kind of pretzel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a delicious. good flavor, yeah. That's absolutely delicious. And so, yeah, Stellar Snacks brand. It'll be real easy to see. It's got these flower pattern designs all around it, a little bit of a, of a glossy bag. I really like that sweet onion flavor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that, that goes well with it. Um, Those would be sick dipping pretzels. Yeah, agreed, 100%. Uh, there's still a lot of sodium to them, though. Don't be fooled. Right, well, <laughs> but, the pretzels. Yeah, exactly. But no, I, I like that. I'm going to be snacking on that for this episode. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the thing that I brought, so you, you've all met Trace. Mm -hmm. And so there's this big thing going around with um this this company that has freeze-dried candies and such like that so it makes like gummies into just this brittle crunchy puff basically cool. and so he's just been on this like oh he saw it on the internet oh my god what else can i get freeze-dried <laughs> so i have here freeze-dried bananas and freeze-dried pineapples oh those are Two of my favorite fruits. That's exactly why I picked them. <laughs> um, the funny thing is, like, the freeze-dried strawberries, like, I'm sure you've had it before. Have, you've had Special K, right? The cereal? Oh, it's been a long time, but sure. Yeah, the one, the strawberries in there, that's what they taste like. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, I remember uh, Kashi had a cereal, too, for a while yes. like that. Yeah. So here you are, Brian. Oh, thank you, sir. We'll Which start with the banana. One? Banana. Okay. Cause I mean, you and I both enjoy the dehydrated yeah. banana, the right. chips. Yep, banana yeah. chips. But we'll try this freeze dried one and see how it goes. Here we go. It's definitely got a lot more banana flavor than the uh dehydrated ones. Yes, agreed, for sure. Uh a little crunchier than I thought it was going to be it because holding it in my hand, even though I could feel the density of it, I still felt like I was looking at a marshmallow. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's not bad. I don't think I would eat a lot of it though. Right. Right. All right. Let's try the pineapple next. All righty. Pineapple is the one fruit. Like I always have on hand. There's like nine cans of pineapple in my cupboard right now. <laughs> All right. This looks like this seriously looks like, stuff i used to buy my animals oh great it, it does oh that's a definitely a different texture yeah at, at least the shape to it's, it. it feels lighter and more brittle yeah and you can see like you can tell this was definitely a, a pineapple chunk at one point you right. can see the folds to it right here we go i think i like that one better yeah a little bit it's different Mm -hmm. It's different. The banana like turned into more of a slurry. Yes. When you ate it, this felt like it was a cereal grain almost. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. No, not bad at all. It's not bad. But yeah, it's hmm. um. This is like the the newest coolest thing is freeze dried, etc. 
Right, right. You can order like freeze dried Skittles, Starburst, gummy rings, gummy worms. Um, I think they even tried freeze dried gum. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so hmm. like there's this, this big like trendy thing, and you can actually if you go to Menards, you can actually find uh, a bag of freeze dried Skittles. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's basically all it is. It's like the candy inside like puffs up a lot and it's just real brittle. Maybe that's something you and I should do next year because I think it takes place in July or August when there's the Illinois State Fair around yeah. Springfield. And like we'll just record ourselves trying. Like ever since we talked about it, I, I have wanted to hit up Peoria or a little bit south and get, uh, get a horseshoe sandwich. You know, horseshoe sandwich. Yeah, we. It was one of the things mentioned when we were talking about that food atlas I found, which oh. is it's essentially it just looks like it's a, a cheeseburger with fries in it. Oh, okay. Is essentially, what it looked like. I but, thought you were going to talk about the um, the thing that Sean got there before because I kept telling him to go when he that? went down there for that um for that ghost concert. Okay, I told him go to uh, Schooners. And get their breaded pork tenderloin sandwich. Oh, gotcha. And gotcha. they give you that breaded pork tenderloin that's the size of a small pizza <laughs> with one bun in the middle. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get a, the best way I can describe it is a football of onion rings. Because that's how big it is. Nice. All right. Well, we're going to leave you for a second and come back with a new game. Yes. Guys, it's Jack Big Chin and his alien invasion, and this is totally not the game we were supposed to play today. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, uh, man, it sucked because that last game we were playing was really good. Right. That Spook Kids was really good. Yep, so we're, we're switching on over to this game, which was supposed to be January's Bud Suds and Duds. We're playing it now. All right, uh, Jack Big Chin. It's not Jack's Big Chin. It's Jack Big Chin. Like, that's his name. Right, right. An alien invasion. Here we go. This smells of Duke Nukem to me. What? No. <laughs> okay. The Earth has been invaded by aliens. The humans tried to counterattack with energy cannons. That's a good idea. But the invaders got dominant humans and disabled the cannons. Oh boy. Okay, another running theme today is the bad, bad English. There's only one man who can defeat them. A Playmobil action figure. <laughs> <laughs> is it Jack Big Chin? Oh, wow. Oh. Did anybody order Blasto? Right? <laughs> What is this? Super Mario World? Yeah. Gotta find all the secrets. It's gonna be so many secrets. Okay. Shh. It sounds not too bad. It's <laughs> interesting. Okay. What are those? Cool points? I <laughs> guess so. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, it's responsive. Oh, okay. okay. So he does have a little slowdown when he reloads. Gotcha. That water looks more like sky. I think that's supposed to be ooze. Okay. Okay. Do I have a... I don't. I What's do, that? I don't have a manual reload. Oh, gotcha. Okay, interact. Okay. Oh, I was going to okay. say, I hear it. I yes. don't see it. It takes a while. <laughs> okay. 
Shoot, aim on... Okay, okay, all right. There is a lock on. All right. I don't see a target. Right. Oh. Maybe that's a... With, did you press that and that happened? No, that just happened. Okay. Jack Big Chin doesn't... I can't move the camera. <laughs> Jack Big Chin doesn't go where people tell Jack Big Chin to go. That's right. Jack Big Chin goes where he damn well pleases. <laughs> I like the blobby smoke. They got green blood. They look like... Oh, so that was supposed to be dominated humans, like head crabs. I guess. I see uh, an electrical grid blocking your pathway. Collecting my cool points. Yep. Do I get an extra? Do I get a new gun? At so it looks like those are tied to that meter on the right. Yeah, you'll show those alien scum. For busting up my ride. <laughs> How good is the collision detection? Oh, it's pretty alright. <laughs> Damn these alien bastards. <gasps> Are those secrets? It looks like I can only kind of get to it from that side. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, so hard to see. Yep. <laughs> Music got serious. Yeah, it did. Energy box or space artifacts? Oh, I want those. Did I get artifacts? Uh, that upper right thing lit up. Oh, I don't I, know. What that I got means. a tube. Yeah. We were just talking about TMNT, and that just looks like a yellow version of the ooze container. You missed every single shot. What is that? <laughs> I can't aim down. I can't. Oh, he's spitting all it's over the place. He's at me. Damn those alien bastards. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> you know, the thing is, like, I'm killing people here. Yeah, I was thinking that. You're not really just taking out the aliens. But there's a death counter as well. So you've killed 14 people. I can't imagine... Like, I'm figuring either that's how you know you got everybody, or if you're supposed to be avoiding that, they haven't told you. I don't know. Jack Pig... Pig Chin. Jack Big Chin doesn't avoid conflict. <laughs> oh, the secrets? Is that a cluster? be hilarious if you accidentally skipped a whole huge part of the level. <laughs> oh, one of those annoying ones. I can't shoot it unless it jumps. Yeah. That's totally normal. It sucks. <laughs> your, your, oh! whoa. <laughs> your cool points meter is just about full. Yeah, I, it's going to give me a cool vial. Hopefully. Oh, it was a secret. It wasn't much of a secret. It just led me back here. Yeah, you almost died. Secretly. <laughs> yeah. Nobody would have known. Oh, here you gotta find the skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know how the aliens won. <laughs> right? Because Jack Big Chin can't jump worth a damn. Right. Oh, there is a walk button. Oh, good, but not a run. <laughs> like you need. Oh, I found the reload. <laughs> it's Y for some reason. Oh, good. Uh, uh, oh. I didn't think you made it that oh, time. Oh, man. Jack Big Chin, master of stunts. <laughs> I didn't need help. Oh, yeah, that's what, that's what you got. Okay. I like how some of these are repeated. I like how some of these are repeated. Get what I did. Uh-huh. 
I filled up the bar, but it didn't give me another goo. Yeah, nothing happened. So, I'm not sure what that's about. Oh, there's a the little jumpy guy. Your favorite. Man, you're just getting slimed by him. Why does it make a monkey noise? Like yeah, that? right. There's a big MacGuffin up there. <laughs> yeah, see, this one's working just fine. It's still recording on OBS. Oh, yeah, so... We tried playing something called Spooky Station, which unexpectedly turned out to be a collection of little Halloween-esque games. That Spooky Station itself is just a launching pad for the other games, and OBS did not like that. Yeah. And I thought it was just me screwing up every time. <laughs> right. Okay, so what... Gives me space artifacts, but I didn't collect anything from there. Oh, in the, get in there! Yeah, I oh. can't. It looks like you should be able to. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, come over here and slip on it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I liked it when I bought it. <laughs> oh, there's the said energy cannon. Oh yeah, you're right. I bet you going up to that doesn't do anything either. <laughs> oh, Rob, you only caught one power cell. That's what that does? Yeah, apparently. Okay, here we go. Parkour. <laughs> okay, what does this say? Oh, it's a checkpoint. Checkpoint for what? <laughs> for all this danger you're in. It's just like... Spooky music, I guess. Right. A flashlight? <laughs> Why? I can see perfectly fine. This is starting to feel like this may have been a uh, cool project. Oh, There's... I finally got hit. Yeah, you did. You lost one, one Phillips head screwdriver of life. <laughs> Yeah, oh. I got more artifact juice. Yep. The angle really helps you there. Yeah, it does. You know, like that that top down, whoop, that top down angle feels real good. I mean, to be honest, like it's not it's not like it's trash. Oh, right. I, right, I want no. I want to I want to put that out there. It's not like this is trash. Like believe me, we we played trash. Yeah. But no, this this is not trash. This is actually like if you could take this and refine it some, you'd have a solid a solid game. Yeah. Which like to be perfectly honest, we need more B tier games now. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. Like uh, this reminds me of um, oh god, now I'm not gonna remember what that is. A sequel just came out too. It's that. It's that game that's sort of like uh, Starship Troopers. Okay. The guys come down in uh, in drill pods if you're not careful. Oh god, I really like that game too. And it was for it was for PlayStation. Now I can't remember what it was called. I can't picture it. It's it, but it's a it's a twin stick shooter like this, and it's almost like Starship Troopers to where you're fighting bugs. Okay. Oh god, now it's gonna bother me. Commands? Commands? Uh, it's just controls? Yep. <laughs> That's how you go back to the cannon. It is how you go back to the cannon. Yep. Oh my god, what was that game called? It's gonna drive me nuts now. <laughs> there it goes. Here it goes. Oh, it turned on. Oh, new music. You're gonna shoot a mothership down. Do I have to aim? No, I don't. <laughs> Alright, that was level one of 
Jack's big uh, Jack Big Chin in Alien Invasion, right? Is that the title? Yep. Okay, good. So we'll see what level two is like on the next episode. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>